June 27th, 2016. That was the day that MotorOne.com spotted a prototype car doing some testing. It was a car that we could only assume was a Corvette, but it was different because the engine was in the middle. Now it's been over three years since that day with hundreds of articles written and a rumor mill that just never seems to stop. The day has finally come. The car is here behind me in production form. It's the 2020 Corvette Stingray. Let's take a look. So let's start with the very obvious thing. The engine has obviously now moved from the front of the car to the middle of the car and along with that come a lot of exterior design changes. Now Chevy took a lot of time tonight to talk us through some of those changes, how they've reshaped the car aerodynamically to accommodate this new mid-engine layout. But we start up front. I have to say in the metal the production car looks very similar to what we've been seeing uh, all this testing that GM has been doing. That said, there's a couple of things I do want to point out on the production car. We have these sleek LED headlights right here with the DRLs that run alongside. The red car over there is equipped with the Z51 performance package that adds an additional front splitter and a rear wing at the back of the car. This is not equipped with that package, so you don't get that front splitter uh, at the very front of the car. Storage up front, like you would expect out of a mid-engine car, and then Chevy also put some storage in the rear as well. So now join me in the side profile of the car, where the absolute standout feature right here are these huge side intakes that obviously feed air into the engine, which is located right here. But there's a hidden feature here. The door release is located underneath this intake grate. It's actually integrated right here. This helps the car be more aerodynamic, looks really sleek as well. Now we get to the star of the show, the thing that everybody has been talking about, the engine located right here. It's a 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 called the LT2. It's a heavily reworked version of the LT1 that's currently found in the C7 Corvette generation. The specs, very impressive right off the bat, especially for the base car. 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. That's when the car is equipped with the performance exhaust. Now Chevy did not get too far into the weeds with dropping performance figures, but they told us one huge number tonight, and that's the C8 when equipped with the Z51 performance package is doing zero to 60 in less than three seconds. Remember, this is the base model of the car with higher horsepower models most likely to come. Less than three seconds, that is a huge figure. The 6.2 liter LT2 engine is mated right now exclusively, at least for now, to an eight speed dual clutch transmission. No talk tonight about a manual transmission on offer. Will it come eventually? Not quite sure yet, but for now, we get an eight speed quick shifting dual clutch transmission. Now we get to the rear of the C8 where I'm gonna point out some of my favorite design details. Starting with this, it's the Stingray logo which sits proudly right here on the trunk lid. And of course you have Corvette written underneath. Down here we have dual exhaust tips, something kind of cool the C7 generation, we have four exhaust tips that are in the middle of the car, but on the C8, they moved to either side because the transmission is actually sitting at the rear of this car, so they had to move the exhaust tips. Completely different look, but we like the way it looks. Then right here, we have these LED tail lights. They look really thin, really lean, kind of matches the lighting that we see up front in the car. Inside the C8, I can't even say that it takes design direction from the C7. You can certainly tell that it's a Corvette logos on certain places, but overall, this is a huge clean slate start for this new car. The cabin is completely redesigned from the ground up. Uh, a couple major things that we want to point out. Let's start with the obvious right here. A huge, absolutely huge single row of buttons. And then we have these two displays right here as well, including an all digital uh, instrument cluster sitting right ahead of the driver. This new redesigned steering wheel as well. I think it kind of looks like a battleship out of Star Trek or something. It's kind of quirky, but it fits the futuristic design of the C8. And then of course we have these big chunky paddles as well to go with that dual clutch transmission. Chevy also made a point to point out this button right here, which is called Z mode. They didn't go into too many specifics, but the Z mode uh, takes all of the performance characteristics of the car and lets you customize them to your liking. So if you're on your favorite track and then go to the road, you can set comfort, sport settings accordingly with the steering, the engine, throttle input. What else do we have in here? Some nice color contrasting materials, red leather in this case. There's three seating options and six color palettes to choose from. That's more than ever before in a Corvette. They pointed out there's a 14 speaker Bose audio system. That is the most speakers ever offered in a Corvette. And overall, everything looks really neat and tidy in here. No promises being made tonight as to when the C8 Corvette will be hitting the market but I'm gonna leave you with the single biggest piece of news that we received this evening. C8 Corvette will be starting at less than $60,000. So you're talking almost 500 horsepower and a hell of a lot of performance for not that much money. 
for that, we're very excited.